Hi, my name is Akshay Zoshi and in this short video, I am going to demonstrate how to install and upgrade pgadmin4 on Windows with one click installer. For that, browse https colon slash slash www.pgadmin.org website, then go to download and select Windows from the list. Download the version that you would like to install. I have already downloaded version 6.19, 6.20 and 7.1 for demo purpose. So first start with 6.19, double click on the installer. There are two options provided by the installer like install for me only, which is recommended and another one is install for all users. So I have selected install for all users here. Click on next, accept the agreement. So default path for uh, all the users is C colon program files, pgadmin4 v6. You can change the installation path of your choice. Click on install. It starts the installation. It takes few minutes to install. Okay, so installation is finished. To verify, just type pgadmin4 here, and you can see that there is an entry of pgadmin4 version v6. Launch pgadmin once installation is done. Yeah, so pgadmin is launched. Set the master password and navigate to help and about pgadmin4 dialog to verify the version that we have installed. So the version is correct, 6.19. So this is how uh, pgadmin is installed using one click installer on Windows. Let's see how we can upgrade the pgadmin4 when a minor version is changed, for example, from version 6.19 to 6.20. Double click on pgadmin4 6.20 installer. Click on the next button, accept the agreement. Next, start the installation. Installation is done. To verify, just type here again PG admin. Launch version 6. Enter the master password that you have set when we install version 6.19. Navigate to help and about pgadmin4 menu. Verify the version whether it is upgraded or not. So it is showing 6.20. It means it is correctly upgraded. So this is how uh, we upgrade minor version in on Windows in pgadmin4. Let's see how we can upgrade from one major version to another. For example, version 6.x to version 7.x. Note, this is very important. Whenever a major version is changed on Windows, the installer will create a new folder named vx in the installation path where x is the major version. In our case, it is c colon program files slash pgadmin4 v6. So whenever a new major version is installed or upgraded, a new folder will be created. For example, in case of version 7, v7 folder will be created. But the actual upgradation or a migration will be done on the pgadmin4 configuration database file that is available at percent app data percent pg admin and pg admin 4db file if you would like to run both versions side by side then make sure to take a backup of the pg admin 4db file before installing any new major version let's take a backup of this file
and rename it to the appropriate version. I have renamed it to 6 underscore 20. I will explain later in the demo how to run both versions side by side. Now double click on PG admin for 7.1 installer. Select install for all users. Click next. Accept the agreement. Default path is V7 as I mentioned earlier. Click next. Next. Start the installation. Installation is done. Once installation is done, you will see two entries of a PG admin PG admin for v6 and PG admin for v7. Launch PG admin for v7. Enter the master password that you have set while installing 6.19. Navigate to help about PG admin 4 menu and check the version. Version is 7.1. It means it is upgraded to the major version 7.1. This is how we can upgrade from one major version to another. After the installation of one major version, it may be possible that older versions won't run because the PG admin configuration file has been upgraded. Let's see how we can run the two major versions side by side. If you remember, we have taken a backup of the PG admin 4 DB file before the installation of version 7. Navigate to the installation path of a V6. Go to the web folder. You will have to create a new file here, config underscore local.py, which I have already created. And you have to make these entries like import OS. As we need to change the path of the SQLite and the log file to run both the version, both the major version side by side and make sure to rename these files. So I have renamed it to underscore six underscore 20. As you remember, we did that. We take a backup of this file. Similarly for the log file. Save this file. Now launch PG admin for version six. Enter the master password. Navigate to help and about PG admin 4. You can see that you have launched 6.20. And if you can check the PG admin database file, it is showing the path of the database file that we have renamed. Also, you can check the log file as well. It's, it is showing PG admin 4 underscore 6 underscore 20 dot log and pg admin 4 underscore 6 underscore 20 dot dp file. So this is how we can run two major versions side by side. As you know, pg admin is shipped with Postgres and Enterprise DB's Postgres advanced server. If pg admin is installed or shipped with a pg or a epass, the program name is pg admin 4 in programs menu. And the installation path of the PG admin is installation path of PG or EPASS slash PG admin 4. So we can check that it's a program files, PostgreSQL 15 and PG admin 4. Thank you for watching the demo. I hope you like the video and will find it useful.